Would you believe me if I told you that every one of the picture in picture effects you are seeing on screen right now was made for free with a drag and drop edit page effect in DaVinci Resolve? You should, because that's that's what's happening right now. That's right, today is Free Preset Friday! And I'm very excited because today I'm releasing Picture in Picture Pro. So let's not waste time, let's see what we're working with here. In the scene, I have some uh, uh, screen recording here, and then I have a, a video of me over it. This is from a recent video. And I can just open up my effects library, come to effects, Sterling Supply Company, scroll down among all my other free presets, and I have Picture in Picture Pro. I will drag that right over that video clip, and boom, I'm in a little rounded square box. You can actually see I have a little drop shadow going on as well, and that's great. I can select that clip, open the inspector, come over to effects, and I have, hey, master control or transform controls. I can slide this down into the corner. I'm good to go. But that is just the beginning. Just so this is a little cleaner, I'm actually going to uh, grab a generator of a solid color. I'll stretch that out. Go back to this nice gray. And yeah, pull this video clip over and we can really see what we're working with. I will reset this position. And I will pull the size up to about one. And we can really start to dive in here. Right under these master transform controls, we have mask shape controls. If I open that up, the first thing we have is this drop down. Uh, you see, yeah, I have this square. We can also do a star, a circle, or an N gon, a polygon. And hey, inside this polygon, or inside any of these controls rather, we have individual extra drop down controls. So on this N gon, I can decide how many sides that has. I can control the width and the height independently and even angle that to rotate those around. Really similar to that one, I can come to star, open that up, decide how many points I want on that star, how deep I want those points to go, and then I can make up for that with the width and height. Also got angle, similar controls for the ellipse on rectangle. If I hop back to a square, we have that corner radius. If you want it to be sharp, if you want it to be smooth, this is already pretty cool, right? But it doesn't stop there. Underneath our mask shape controls, we have footage controls. Uh, this is a little simpler. Um, just you can shift your footage inside that mask, scale it back up, uh, rotate it if you want to. And we also have this footage edge blur. If you pull that up, it sort of uh, fades back into your main outline here, but we can control that in the layer controls. Ooh, lots going on here. First, you have this main outline. Whether you want it or not, you can just do your video and that still looks great. But you want it or not, you have thickness controls. You also have position and length controls. Uh, you have to control length first. If I pull that down, then yeah, it only uh, comes part way around your image, but you can rotate that around with this position if you want. If you want to do uh, something, that's pretty interesting. And of course, you can change the color, but you also have this texture button. If I click that, then all of a sudden, as I play through, uh, this has this sort of like organic texture driven by fast noise going on in the background. I'll uncheck that for now and move on. I'll also pull up length because under that, we have some few extra layers. Number one is outline copy. If I turn that on, you see we have a similar wedge um, which is a wedge because we pulled uh, this length down as well. So uh, you, could, you could always pull it back up and have just like another layer of outline, or you could pull this back down to about where it was. And you see we have this rotate speed. And by default, if we play through, this first outline copy will slowly rotate around your mask. If you wanted to go the other way, just set the speed to a negative number. And again, those have thickness and color controls and also texture. And you can also make this sort of wavy and organic and leave the other where it is. And hey, we have another outline copy that's the exact same thing, but just you can layer these on top of each other. By default, this rotates the other way. So if I just tossed some wild colors on these, you can see they would rotate uh, around each other. You can make one thicker, you can make one organic, one not. And hey, just for fun, we can slide all the way back to mask shape controls and go something crazy like a star. And this all dynamically updates and even rotates around the mask of a star. It's pretty wild. I'll jump to circle and we can keep moving on because after that outline copy, we have uh, the texture control. If any of these have that organic shape, you can come into texture controls and change things like the contrast to give, make it a little more um, extreme, the power as well to push this in different ways, uh, scale, and also see the rate for how fast you want this to move. And finally, shape copy. If I check this, uh, nothing will happen at first. 
But if I move this X and Y offset a little bit, you see, hey, we've got this exact copy of our mask floating out here in space. And if I come down here and turn on copy wiggle, then now as I play through, uh, this will just wiggle around. You can pull up the scale and the wobble and speed a little bit. And now you'll just have this uh, shape wobbling around the background. You could really like pull this back in. So it's quite a bit more constrained, but it's just another option. And then finally down here, we do have that final drop shadow controls. These are a little more simple. You just have direction, strength, uh, and distance. Uh, but hey, um, there are a lot, a lot of different ways you could package this all up together. Just in demonstrating this, I've shown a lot of different options and you can mix and match, hop back and forth between your shape selection. And to get started, you just drag and drop it on the edit page. Picture in Picture Pro is available now and it is available on my website, sterlingsupply.co. If you've grabbed some of my free presets before, uh, you might realize I'm pushing to a different spot now. Um, I'm experimenting with new things as always, but I have pushed a lot of my existing free products to that site alongside my paid products and my external membership. I'm hoping to have a lot more information for you um, about that side of things soon. But for now, you can head over to that site. It's a free download and an extra page to tip what you want if you want. Uh, I'm very excited for you to get your hands on this. I think it's pretty powerful. I think it shows off a lot of the potential of uh, fusion effects. You can do so many things packaged up in one effect. Hey, I also built this live on stream. So uh, subscribe or stick around if you want to catch the occasional live stream, or if you would be interested in a video breaking down really the nuts and bolts of how this specific effect was made, uh, let me know and, and maybe I'll do that. I've got tons of follow-up videos for different effects I need to get back to making. But anyway, hope you love Picture in Picture Pro. Uh, have a great day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.